So, da sind wir schon wieder. Das geht ja so Schlag auf Schlag hier heute. Fachpack TV live aus Halle 4. Und wir sprechen heute über ein Thema, das viele hier auf der Messe bewegt. Wie lassen sich Effizienz, wie lassen sich Innovation und Nachhaltigkeit in der Lebensmittelverpackung intelligent verbinden? Und äh, das, was wir jetzt gleich tun, tun wir auf Englisch. Denn unser Gast kommt von äh, einem wirklich weltweit führenden Maschinenhersteller hier in Deutschland sowieso, aber eben auch auf der ganzen Welt. Es wird ein Gespräch über smarte Technologien, über starke Services, über die Verpackungslösungen der Zukunft. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Ben Whitehill, Technical Sales Director bei, uh, at uh, Syntagon. Thank you. Nice to have you here. I just told you uh, my English is a catastrophe. We'll get so past my that. My German is perfect, <laughs> but my English, let's see what happened. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's your first time in Nuremberg, you said to me, the first time at the Fachpark. What yeah, are your, your first impressions of uh, the trade fair here? Yeah, it's been very good to uh, get to Nuremberg this morning and uh, have a quick short tour around. Uh, I'll spend most of the time on our stand this morning talking to the team and and making sure everyone's uh, comfortable, I suppose, with our tasks over the next few days. But uh, I'm sure I'll get to have a bit of a walk around later on today and have a look. We call it the Melbourne of Germany here, Nuremberg, <laughs> because you're original from Melbourne. Yeah, correct. Australia, so, yeah. Very excited then, if, uh, if that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> no, not really, not really. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was kidding. Uh, but now you are in Manchester working for Syntagon. Uh, what's your what's your job? What uh, what do you have to do? Yeah, at so uh, I'm head of sales for Syntagon Bristol. Um, we've obviously got our manufacturing site there, one of one of the sites within Syntagon, uh, and I'm responsible for the secondary portfolio. So um, it comes some challenges, obviously uh, at times coming across from Australia and learning, you know, different cultures and different languages. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> trying to blend in, I suppose. At, so Australia, Manchester, and now uh, Bavarian. Yeah. <laughs> so you, as you can imagine, it does okay. bring us challenges, but yeah, I'm, uh, I do enjoy it, so it's good. Let's talk about the challenges for Syntagon now. Yeah. Uh, at the at the Fachpark, Syntagon positions itself as a, t a strategic partner f uh, to the food industry. What does that mean in practice for your customers? Yes, we have a, a lot of customers come to us these days with, um, you know, fast ramp ups uh, and high OEE productions uh, that they want to get to. So we, we're all about the life cycle of how we can uh, start the journey with them and then uh, prolong that for as long as possible and make sure they succeed. And then when we do that, we'll succeed together. So, you know, there's plenty of customers that are looking for flexibility uh, and also to have the ability to change direction because the market's ever so changing so quickly these days. It, it's really yeah. changing quickly, yeah. yes. yes. Well, uh, um, the, the, the PPWR is it's a big topic. That yeah, and look, with the packaging, we, we're always looking at different ways we can support the customer around different types of packaging, and, and we can touch on that. And um, so we, we try and just make sure that journey goes as long as possible within within the life cycle of the, of the relationship with the customer. Yeah. How does Syntagon support manufacturers in, in navigating uh, the, the current industry challenges? Uh, and there are a lot of challenges. You, you, you said that already. Uh, labor shortages, sustainability targets, cost, uh, cost pressures. So how, how can you support them? Yeah, so we look at different ways with the customer depending on what their challenges are because no customer comes to us with the same challenge. So. Well, you know, in our wide Syntagon network, everyone's got different uh, challenges they face, whether it is a sustainable uh, footprint or a sustainable packaging issue, which, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about sustainability, but sustainable means different things for different businesses. So we, we go through that cycle with them on how we can support them in, whether it's labor shortages in doing different things to suit their machine uh, equipment, around format changes, so there's less people required on that line, which is always a, a benefit for the customer. And then we also look at ways that the biggest thing that any business looks at is their bottom line. So how do we support their bottom line with whether it's packaging or labor shortages? You know, so we're always working there. Yeah, uh, so much challenges. From your perspective, how, how does uh, the role of machine manufacturers changed? 
over the past years. So it's a, it's a challenge for, for the manufacturers as well. Yeah, and look, for us at Tentagon, we're, um, we have a very dynamic team at, at, at multiple sites, and um, they're always looking and listening to what the customer is required. And then we will build equipment tailored to that customer. So the customers, like I said, the customer's challenge may be different, uh, you know, in certain industries that are not suited to other industries that we're very strong at. Um, so we try and work with the equipment there to tailor around what is required. So, you know, we have multiple industries that we covered, uh, chocolate and bars, bakery, fresh chilled and frozen. So none of those industries have the same uh, needs and we have to work together to make sure that we can cover that off. Yeah. Let's talk about the highlights of Suntugon here at the at the Fachpark. Um, it's a huge stand, of course, again. We all recognize the green of Syntagon, which is nearly the same green like the packaging journal. So, yeah, it is very yeah. similar. <laughs> it's very similar, but yours is much nicer than our green. So what are the highlights of Syntagon here yeah, in so Nuremberg? Yeah, so I understand uh, over the next few days, we've got the SVX Agile, which is our latest uh, vertical form fill and seal machine. Um, and we also have uh, something close to us at Bristol, our new Click Lock ACC, Advanced Cart and Closer. And then obviously, we, you know, we talk about our life cycle and our strategic partners from a customer relationship point of view. So we have our tailored services to suit that as well. So customers can come along and talk to us about the current machines or their new investments they want to do, uh, and we'll have someone there to support them. Yeah. What was the first, the SVX? SVX Agile. Agile. Yeah. So uh, that's one of your uh, innovations. What, what sets it apart from other vertical form fill seal machines? Yeah, so the SVX Agile can, uh, well, it's a market leader in, in bag um, account rate. So it, it can produce 300 bags per minute. Um, it's a very compact design. So in the square footprint of the machine in the factory, uh, it doesn't take up a lot of space, so therefore okay. its output is very good. And a lot of factories are looking at, you know, cost of square meters. You know, we talk about sustainability, and in the factory, you know, customers are looking at how much that that machine costs to run on a daily basis. So, yeah, the SVX has a great cutting edge there. It also has our uh, pattern cross to sealing function, yeah. um, which is quite unique. So it uh, it produces a high quality bag in a different range of uh, formats and sizes. Okay, you convinced me. You convinced me. So you convinced, yeah. Perfect, yeah. We'll sign you up. And it sounds very cool, the SVX. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is, and uh, everyone comes along and looks at it and, you know, is excited by it. And, <laughs> you know, we talk about our Syntagon green and we have <laughs> nice shining lights on it. And yeah. it's always a common feedback. Everyone says it. Uh, it has a lot of wow factor about it. So we definitely have to take a look on it. Yeah, you have yeah. to come along. Okay, the SF, yeah. SVX. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the other was the, the uh, Click Lock ACC. Yeah, so our, that's our new... Uh, it's the debut uh, yeah, in debut Europe. For, Europe yeah, uh, Amir. Uh, we launched a Pack Expo in America earlier this year. Yeah. And it makes its debut here. So, um, yeah, the the ACC Advanced Cart and Closer, it's, uh, it's unique in what it can do. It can tailor uh, to suit all industries. Uh, it can handle different speeds, up to 200 cartons per minute, and different shapes and formats. And we talk about, you know, packaging costs and things like that. You know, to have one machine that can do a very small box to quite a unique size box or a case in some instances, um, it does set it apart. So it has some great benefits around it um, that is tailored to suit the customer's requirements. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of changes in, in the industry, uh, not only in the industry, the, the regulation comes. So every of your clients have to be very, very flexible. So the question is, how, how does uh, Syntagon ensure that its uh, technologies remain flexible, remain future ready? How could you, could you do that? Yeah, so we look at the, the life cycle journey and how um, that looks like from, from start to, to you know, to whatever that looks like for how long. Um, so we go through a phase period, um, obviously a planning period or a planning phase where we start with the customer um, and work out what they're going to need, whether it's today or tomorrow. Um, and then we we go through that in different stages to to get to that life cycle. So we have 
I'd like to touch on, we have a lot of customers that in this day and age, they want to ramp up tomorrow, you know, <laughs> and sometimes capital equipment doesn't take 10 minutes to build. So, you know, there is a process and, and we go through that with the customer to ensure that the life cycle journey is not also for today, but, but tomorrow. Yeah. Let's talk especially uh, about sustainability. Uh, it's a key theme, of course, and uh, this year's trade fair again. Uh, how does Syntagon address this in its machines and in its services? Yeah, so we, in our machines, we look at different ways to do different things. So it could be like different formats, um, also taken into consideration when uh, our customers are purchasing equipment, that what today looks like and what tomorrow looks like. So giving them the ability to to change. Uh, a lot of customers these days are, are always looking for a cutting edge from their competitors in the market. And also they have requirements or legislations these days from, from different regions where their packaging has to change and suit. So we're, we're looking at ways that we can make sure that that equipment can grow with the customer um, in its journey. So it's all about the life cycle of, of that equipment. Um, and different ways we can do it. So we have different formats, we have different uh, modular design machines that we can add on additional parts. So they might start with an SVX, uh, and then down the track they can add on an ACC or a case packer from, from one of our other Cintagon mm. sites. So we're always looking at different ways to support the customer um, in that sense. So, but then we go to our tailored services and we look at how do we support them so we can support a customer through service level agreements, modernizations, uh, format change parts to help them grow or take on different different ideas from different customers. And a lot of our customers start out with one or two formats or one or two products they want to run. And then as you look at the journey that they go on, yeah. you go back in five, six, seven years and they have 10, 20 different formats they're now running on the machine. So it looks, it's all about how we can continue to succeed yeah. together. Uh, to make that clear, maybe one more question to sustainability. What role do uh, energy efficient drives and, and recyclable materials uh, play in your approach to sustainable packaging? Yeah, so again, look, energy drives, you know, energy saving drives, it's a different sustainable outlook. Yeah. You know, a lot of people when come to us and talk about sustainability, the first thing that comes to everyone's mind yeah. is packaging, right? <laughs> yeah. Let's reduce the packaging. And sometimes a sneer on impossible, you know, let's reduce the plastic. And sometimes that's hard. But we, we look at all different things and, you know, we've moved away and the SVX is a great example. We've moved away from plastic bags and we move into paper-based material and, and monofilms and we've been able to produce that on the SVX. You know, and then we go to like what we're showcasing with the ACC. So we've had a machine that can do a very small carton, a very big carton, and, and we can also pack that small carton into a bigger carton and they've still got one machine. So we're always looking at different way uh, around sustainability and then what sustainability looks like. And then we look at energy saving. You know, the cost of energy is, is quite high yeah. in certain countries. And we've got panelist designs that uh, on machines that make it energy saving for the customer and they can see significant benefits that again impact the bottom line which any any CEO that wants to uh, be successful is always looking at the bottom line. Yeah. Obviously Syntagon uh, did a good job. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Again. So. Again. <laughs> so la last question. Uh, let, let's talk about maybe our digital tools. It's one of the trend uh, topics of course. Uh, digitalization. Um, so beyond machinery you offer life cycle services. Uh, how do these help uh, customers improve efficiency and uh, availability? Yeah, so we have uh, multiple different uh, tailored services and we have a data platform, Synexio, that uh, gives live data to the customer. Um, so therefore, again, we look at OEEs and, and um, other things that customers require and everyone's different. Um, but you know, we have the platforms to suit the customers and we can tailor those. We also have, you know, we talked on labor shortage and things like that before. We've tailored service agreements that support the customer on the life cycle journey of the machine. You know, if someone's gonna make the investment and quite often we see the people that do make those investments, it's a big decision. 
yeah. and uh, they they don't want it next to them saying that they've got no support. So we have um, different platforms that we can use to prolong uh, that life cycle and and the sustainable outlook for the equipment. Mm -hmm. Maybe we have an example for a digital tool. We have to to yeah, so we have Synex try and to see. Yeah, so we have Synexio that uh, is our live data platform, yeah. and it can give different OEEs. Um, it can give you know, if we get down to the bones of what people see in a real life factory, we can give customers the outlook of machines, why the machine has been open today, for what reason, or why the machine stopped. You know, so sometimes these are things that the customers deal with in their day-to-day -day, day that some people don't really see from an outside, that you just think the machine turns over. Um, but we're all about making sure that machine is operating at its highest efficiency for as long as possible yeah. um, to give that return on investment. Pooh, thanks for giving us an overview. Yep. So a, a lot to see yeah. at the Syntagon stand. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's, um, you uh, come across and have a look at our machine, you know. We all uh, have and everybody have to uh, 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 use an SVX. Yeah, SVX. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's, uh, it's, everybody it's, should have one. Should have one, <laughs> yeah. And then uh, you can follow it up with the ACC. And uh, it's all about, like I said, it's about how we can co-create together and co-succeed. Yeah. And that will, that will give us the life cycle journey that we're looking for together. And you have answers to all the questions. Thank Enjoy you. your first time in Nuremberg. Beautiful, thank you. Uh, do you have plans for tonight? Uh, yeah, some, we've got some... Anything uh, with beer or...? Yes, yeah, so we've, uh, <laughs> we've got some customers from Australia actually here. Oh, really? This afternoon, yeah. so... Uh, yeah. maybe so go to them and say Nuremberg is the Melbourne of Germany. Yeah, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe they believe it. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to come across later today and uh, have a look at our stand. Yeah, we will. We will definitely. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank no you problem. for having uh, uh, having me here. I, I wanted to say, as I said, my English is a catastrophe. Yep. Uh, yeah. You say yeah. Er sagt ja. Er hat ja gesagt. Und er hat recht. Thank you very much. So, <laughs> wir sind gleich wieder da und uh, melden uns dann hier aus Halle 4. Thanks a lot. See you later, alligator. <laughs> <laughs>